It has been one week since OpenAI had just released its two new flagship models, O1 Preview and O1 Mini, which are two new incredible series of reasoning models for solving hard problems. They can reason really well through complex tasks and solve harder problems than previous models in science, coding, and math. The O1 Preview is currently the best LM to ever be created, surpassing Claude 3.5 Sonnet. Something else to note is that the output you receive from O1 is optimized for interactions and documents that integrates retrieval augmented generation techniques. Now what this means is really interesting because the new O1 models can answer a question using knowledge retrieval and with the structured output in a plug and play manner. This means that you can integrate RAG with OpenAI's O1 models such as the O1 Preview and it can unlock numerous advantages for users who are trying to tackle complex reasoning tasks. This combination is going to allow for enhanced accuracy through real-time knowledge retrieval and it's going to ensure that the responses are not only relevant but also backed by the latest information. Users benefit from structured outputs that facilitate better understanding and of their application as well as their data, while the dynamic nature of RAG allows for these models to incorporate vast amounts of context and this will overall enhance the ability to reason efficiently. Well you may be wondering now, why not just use graph RAG or hybrid RAG? Well, the reason is because it may require more complex setups and maintenance, potentially limiting the usability in a fast-paced environment. You can simply just connect the O1 models and it has the ability to basically do almost everything that GraphRag and Hybrid Drag does as it has the ability to generate structured outputs while efficiently accessing and reasoning over large data sets to provide a streamlined experience and in particular having the advantages for high-stakes applications such as a data-driven analysis or a SWOT analysis. This way you're going to be able to get better responses for complex tasks similar as to how you would with hybrid rag or graph rag. Well, you may be wondering, how are we going to accomplish this? Well, today I'm going to be demonstrating how you can harness these capabilities with the trusty platform I've showcased multiple times on this channel, which is called VectorShift, a platform where we've automated so many different things. We've created AI agents, created automations for Gmail, data analysis, and so many other things. And today I'm going to be showcasing how you can easily chat with your documents with RAG techniques and having the integration of the new O1 preview model. So with that thought guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. What I want you guys to do is head over to the vectorshift.ai website link, which I'll leave in the description below. And once you are here, I want you guys to click on the get started button and I want you to sign up with an email account or with a Google account or GitHub. Once you have signed up, we can then proceed forward. Once you have signed up or logged in, you'll be then sent over to the main pipeline dashboard. This is where you're going to be able to manage all your automations and pipelines. You have a marketplace in which you can access ready-made templates for automations as well as chatbots so that you can easily just get started with the template. You're going to be able to upload your own knowledge, your own files from docs all the way to CSV files. You can manage your automations, chatbots, forums, voice bots, analytics and so much more in this case we're going to first start off by creating our own pipeline from scratch so click on this addition sign once that is opened up it'll prompt open this window click on create new and click on create pipeline from scratch but you can see that these are also other ready-made templates such as a gmail template or a google drive template or even something like a chatbot but now what we're going to be doing is showcasing how you can create this pipeline from scratch where I'll be demonstrating how you can talk and chat with your documents with RAG techniques and having the integration of the O1 model. Essentially, we're going to be creating a workflow that allows you to chat with your documents using the O1 preview model and RAG techniques. Now, in this example of what I'm going to be creating, we're going to focus on a use case in the healthcare industry. But keep in mind that this same workflow can be adapted for various other scenarios, such as chatting with your files or streamlining processes for your business. So what I want you guys to do is start off by placing an input node and output node, which is practically essential for any chatbot as well as for any automation. In the healthcare industry, with hospitals especially, there is this document called SOP, also known as Standard Operating Procedures, which is a document that refers to all the procedures hospitals need to follow when they take care of patients, etc, etc. And these documents are quite large. There's multiple pages and so many procedures. So why not have AI 
basically come and play and have it so that you can ask the ai to basically summarize certain procedures or give you reference to where the procedure is in the document and this way you're going to be e easily able to navigate through the procedures as well as highlight certain procedures that are essential for a certain type of context and this way it's just going to clear up a lot of questions and in the same manner you can utilize this same process with other businesses as well as for personal use cases and this is essentially what we're going to be doing with the help of the new o1 preview model as well as with rag techniques so what i want you guys to do after we place these input and output nodes i want you to go over to the lm nodes uh, category and i want you to place an open ai node first things first i want you to change this to the o1 preview model which excels really well in reasoning so you're going to be able to get really great outputs and i want you to place in a knowledge base node so simply place in a knowledge base node and you want to basically start off by creating your knowledge base this is where you can name it whatever you want so we can just simply name sop and what we're going to be doing is just keeping it as the default settings over here but in this case we're going to have advanced analysis as well as having this as hybrid so that it can select keywords from here we're going to click on create and we're going to start off by uploading our documents or files in this case you can scrape urls recursively on a minutely hourly as well as daily weekly and even monthly basis you can upload folders you can add integrations to different platforms like google drive slack as well as gmail and so many other integrations over here in this case what we're going to be doing is just simply going back and we're going to be just simply uploading a pdf or a document after creating our knowledge base, we're going to be configuring the open A at large language model node by giving it a system prompt. So we're going to first start off by giving it a system prompt, which is to answer the questions based on the context. And now what we're going to be doing is connecting all of these nodes. First things first is connecting the input node, which is going to be questions. This is where people might query into the knowledge base or the chatbot. So in this case, we're going to create two separate variables. One is going to be for questions and the other one is going to be for the context. So simply just name this questions. And what you can do is just press on on the enter button to indent it to the next line now we're going to be creating another variable for context so now you can insert the context variable and just simply rename this to context what you want to do is connect the knowledge base to the context and the question to the input node and the response to the output node and you also want to have it so that the input is going to be going into the knowledge base to provide the context for the question so now we have our flow fully constructed and what you can do is just simply click on deploy changes it was easy as that guys this is how you can easily chat with your documents completely for safe with rag techniques as well as with the o1 preview model and now what you can do is after you have deployed your chatbot what you can do is just simply click on run pipeline to test this out and now you can even export this as a chatbot so in this case you can name it as a sop you can then create your chatbot and in this case, you're going to be able to design your chatbot too with Vectorshift. You can have it so that it's a really good looking chatbot, have it as a co-pilot. You can have it so that you can configure the message senders, message prompts uh, by having a welcome message. You can change the styling as well as the avatar. Once you have deployed, you can click on deploy changes and you can click on export. You can export this as a link. You can have it so that it could be embedded into a website, integrated into Slack, WhatsApp, as well as having the API being exported. And now we have our chatbot configured and you can notice that it is definitely looking way better than before because the devs have been continuously working on improving vector shifts quality. So now what we can do is basically start asking questions about this SOP. So let's emphasize on this. Tell me more about this. So you can send this in and we're gonna have the O1 preview model use its reasoning capabilities with the help of rag techniques to basically get the best answer out of this document. So within a couple of seconds, we're gonna have it process this request and we're gonna be able to get an efficient answer right over here. And there you go. You have a long detailed answer about the SOP procedure for preparing uh, for transfer of patient and patient care. And in this case, we have this detailed analysis 
with the methods as well as a couple examples for it and this is the capability of this in this case it also will provide you related contents such as what is the patient care report the pcr so in this case you can go on and ask that and it will start on processing this request this is why i wanted to make a video on vector shift with the o1 preview because this will definitely enhance the way you chat with your files and the great thing is you can use this in so many other ways and with that thought guys that basically concludes today's video on vector shift this is how you're going to be able to easily use the o1 preview model with vector shift and utilize rack techniques i'll leave all the links that i use in today's video in the description below make sure you follow me on the patreon so that you can easily access different subscriptions completely for free make sure you follow me on twitter a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest ai news and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news but with that thought guys have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas